Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 47 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I'd like to automate some spirity stuff. Uh, last episode we set this up, uh, very basically, and I've made it a little bit nicer, just, you know, bricks, because that's the fanciest thing that Dyer can build with. That's all I got. All I got is stone bricks. I don't got any other blocks in this entire game. That's all I know how to build with. Uh, and this should be good now. Uh, so I should have a bunch of things ready to go. So, for example, if I wanted... Uh, four compressed spirit blocks. Uh, it needs to make uh, soul powder blocks. So compressed soul powder is from soul powder, is from soul powder, is from glowstone. So start. And then we should see things dropping, and we should see the spiriting happening, and we should see the auto crafting going, and you can see it's cooking right along. Look at it go. How great is that? Not too shabby, actually. Not too shabby at all. Nice. Nice. Now, can I specify drop stack size? I wonder if I can, you know, I could probably drop, like, that many, right? That would be cool. Make it a little bit faster. So now it's going to drop, like, a bunch at a time, right? And that's pretty cool. Oh, but it only wants to drop if you have exactly that size. Ew, that's annoying. So it's nice, but, like, it's not that nice. Is there a way to make it, like, so let's drop velocity, let's drop direction, like, how you know, off, off kilter it is or whatever. Uh, drop stack size, drop delay. I don't know if there's a way to make it so that you can drop this many or less. I think it's just this many and that's it, which stinks a little bit, but meh, life goes on. Um, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Cause there may be instances where I want one soul powder. So We'll just have to be a little bit patient. But I can be patient. I can be patient. Um, so what I'm thinking is this will be the room where we do craftings like this block. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need more than one of these. Um, because all the ones that have been consumed thus far were like one-offs, right? I might add them to the crafting. But I'm going to start with this one because this is the main one. Um, now, future crafts... Uh, specifically from Vitalize, are only going to need soul blocks, as far as I can understand, right? So there's soul glass, and there's soul slate, and there's soul steel, but all these blocks I'm already auto-crafting, right? So, like, all these guys, all these multi-blocks are pretty similar. I think this is the most complex one, but they're all about the same. They're just different variations on that theme. But the gist being... Um, that these I would probably do manually because they're going to be like, I'm going to make them once and that's probably it. I don't think I need to automate this. Uh, however, this one I do need to automate and this is the only one that I've noticed so far that I might want to automate that consumes blocks. So here's my, my, my rough idea of a plan, right? I'm going to use laser IO and block placers, right? So if I were to get a simple block placer from here, right? So that should be not too shabby. Right, I think I can do this with a simple block placer. We'll find out if I'm wrong, but I think I can. I think I can. You can face up, right, block placer? Right, block placer, you can face up. You can face up, look at you. Okay, cool, and you don't need power, which is cool. You can be always on, and then I uh, do that, and then it does that. Easy, right? Easy peasy. So we do that a few more times, right? Um, so get me, you know, another batch of that, and three of these, and then Bob's your uncle. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And technically, I need uh, one more because I need to also place the compressed soul sand. All right, so now might be a good time for shrinking because we're going to want to go under here. I really need a better pickaxe. Everybody agrees. Right? But this is the gist, right? So then you can be always on, and 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 everybody's happy. And that looks pretty good to me. So then down here, we'll probably want some laser I.O. Boom, 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 boom. And what we're going to say is we're going to insert into these blocks, but we're going to counting filter them. Uh, and now that I've got automation i should i should probably automate bits of laser io right that seems like a good time look how tiny i am um but i would like you to be patternable so you're just going to be the normal old patterns so be ready to be automated right so that and 
not tinted glass, just regular. Are you on substitutions enabled? Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. Um, and then I need you to know how to make... Well, substitutions are enabled, so it should be fine. Um, and then you need to know how to make this. So that's going to be a smelting recipe. And then you should be cool. And then I would also like you to know how to make that. And that. Now for these two to be makeable, I need iron bars and observers. And then you should have everything you need to be cool. Now where's my smelting factory? Basic smelting factory, nice. Okay, cool. So now laser IO should have most of the craftables that I would normally want auto craft. There's a few more I could throw in there at some point. Um, probably you, to be honest with you. Um, is there anything else from laser IO I might wanna? Da -da 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 -da. I should do my cards. That would probably be smart, right? Yeah, might as well do the cards as well. And I feel like buckets is the only thing you probably don't know how to make already. Do you know how to make buckets? Nope. But you do now. There we go. That should be cool. I might even do these in a column like that because that would be a little bit smarter. All right, that looks good to me. Uh, was there anything else from Laser IO that I might want to teach you how to make? Do, 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 nope, that should be fine. I'll just do this one real quick. Um, only because it's rare that you need that level of speed, those advanced overclockers, but meh. Can't hurt. So now from Laser IO, can you get me like a batch of these? That would be cool. Look at all the smelting happening. Perfect. And you guys should actually stack. I didn't realize I had that many of those, but there you go. You can always do that to clear them. All right, so then on the up, you're gonna insert a compressed soul powder, but I want you to only do one at a time, okay? Um, so you're only gonna allow in one compressed soul powder block, and that's it. All right, and the same for you. You are only gonna allow in one compressed soul powder block. The same for you. You're only gonna allow in one compressed soul powder block. And then finally you on the up will be one compressed soul powder block. Does that look cool to everybody? Okay, now you on the up will insert one compressed soul sand block, not soul snad. Compressed soul sand, that one, okay? So compressed soul sand goes here and all that stuff, okay? Now here, I'm thinking I could just have a chest, okay? And on the down, you will extract eight at a time. Does that sound cool? And I might want to overclock that on the down because I might want you to place super fast. So on the down, we're going to overclock you. Every tick, extract eight items at a time. Technically, I think four is the most I need it to do because it's going to do the four uh, compressed soul blocks and then the compressed soul sand, right? Uh, that should be fine. That should be fine. Cool. And... So here's, because hmm. we're also going to want, so you're going to be placing your block here, and then we're going to have that. So here's where I should have my dropper, right? So what I'm thinking is, let's get another dropper and get ready for that, because we also need to insert, at the same time, we need to insert the item that gets dropped. Um, and maybe trigger when we detect that there's fire. That could be cool. Like, use a sensor, see if there's fire there. If there is fire, that means we're allowed to drop. I like that. I like that. 
but we're not doing anything with filters. Only drop on external signal, that's and. Or drop filter matches automatically, non-matching items on external signal. So and is what we want, because we only want it to drop on an external signal, right? Yeah. So let's do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a chest of some description sitting right here. Yep. You can tell I'm making this up as I go, right? Like that's 100% clear to everybody watching this. I hope so. 100% making this up as I go. But we can run some cable. Um, in fact, almost. Let's get our pattern provider. Do, 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 do. Okay, and that I think will be our insert chest rather than down here. Deal? So on the down, give me that back. Okay. So your job, Mr. Laser IO, or I can move this up one and that would probably be a little bit cooler. I don't know where I am. Oh, okay, for some reason I was there. Let's move him up, up one. Does up one sound good? Up one sounds good to me. Man, it's weird being this small. It is not easy being this small. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It is not easy to be this small. All right, so that connects you up. You're cool. Okay, so there's two things that you're going to want to do. Uh, actually, I think I wanted you... Yeah, no, that's fine. So you're going to go here. We're going to have the chest here. And let's have the advanced collector here. I like the sound of that. So you... 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 And you're only going to whitelist soul steel blocks. I can't drag for this one? I have one. Good. That. And show me the range on you. As long as you're big enough. You're pretty big enough. I could shrink you down. I don't like large ranges if I don't need them. Maybe one more on the Y. One less on everything else. Yeah, I like I like my range to be real. I mean, we should probably just bump up one on everything else, just in case it flops somewhere weird. It shouldn't. It shouldn't flop somewhere weird, but because we're whitelisting, it doesn't super matter. It can be as big as you want it to be, because it's only going to pick up the specific blocks that we want. Okay. So then on the down here, let's make sure that this area is clear so that we can break this up. But basically what we're going to do when we want to craft a soul steel block, okay, we're going to insert into this chest the iron block, the compressed soul powder blocks, and the compressed soul sand. And then we want laser IO to handle the transferring everything else. So on the up, you're going to extract all the things every tick. But then on the down, you're going to insert... Uh, again, exactly one iron block. Cool? That should be cool. I like it. Okay. So down is insert, up on the extract. And then we want to use laser IO wrenches to handle stuff. Hey. Oh, right. I know why that didn't work. So you are going to connect to here, okay? And then you can connect to your friends next to you. So you, 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 and you. Perfect. Okay, so they should all be connected now, okay? So that should handle that bit. So then watch what happens. You ready? You're going to receive... For these, one compressed soul sand, 
which you know how to craft, and one iron block. That's going to be the inputs. So watch what happens when I input this. Boop. See? Ha 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 ha. Cool. And you can stop showing me things, right? So those guys got placed appropriately, and then this guy got the uh, block of iron, right? And now when he gets a redstone signal, he's going to drop that block of iron. So in order for him to get a redstone signal, we need to sense fire. In order for us to sense fire, we have to make fire. We haven't got to that point yet. I haven't thought about how I'm going to do that yet. There's probably a few ways, like a placer with the, you know, flint and steel or something like that. But, you know, I, uh, you know, I know uh, Ars Nouveau can do it. Maybe that way. Um, is there like an igniter block of some kind? Uh, nope. 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 Yeah, that's one way. Or we could just use a flint and steel. You think a placer would do a flint and steel? That's probably super fancy, but maybe a little overkill. <laughs> so how should we do this? Let me think about it for a sec. So test number one, will a placer place always? Nope, that does not seem to work. That does not seem to work. How about an item user? That's got to be right, right? That should, that should, that's got to work. That's got to work. Item user. So we're just going to need a dispenser. And we're going to need a couple tripwire hooks. And what else? Flint blocks. Have we used this yet in the series? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh my, look at you. Requires redstone. Use item interaction right click or left click. Oh, that's cool. It has a left click function. I like that. Block interactions, entity interactions. I like this a lot. This is actually really nice. This is super nice. Oh, hello. Oh, too far. Close. Close, though. Now, here's, here's a super important question, actually. I have two exceedingly important questions. One... I put that there, ignore, and that, and that should do that. Second question is, can you do that through a block? You can! Fancy! I like it. Okay, neato. Neato burrito. Not entirely sure why it's doing it so far away. Now, I could export bus of flint and steel into here from my AE system to keep flint and steel in stock at all times. That would be the easy way to solve that problem, right? Um, and then also note that this is running on a tick delay of every 20 ticks. So... That's fine. So once a second, it'll place. I could shrink that, but I don't think I want to. I think what I want to do now uh, is have a sensor, a block sensor. Now, do you think we could sense fire? That's actually going to be a challenge because I don't know how I'm going to get fire into here. I don't know how I'm going to get this guy to behave with fire sensing. That might be harder than it looks. Though I could just sense any block, right? Technically, I could sense any block. Because we don't need to sense just fire. Right? Uh, block. Fluid growth entities, players, hostile, passive, block. Do you need a filter to detect a block? Of a certain type is present. I was hoping that you would detect on any block or basically not air but I don't know how I would get fire into there right because while fire is technically a block there is a block there you can even see the, the bounding box for it if you look closely enough see it see the bounding box there's a block there it exists that's it right there that bounding block see see how I'm not hitting the bounding block okay there, I'm not hitting the bounding block. Now I am. So, hmm. How would one detect that? How do I detect when there's fire there? Oh, and by the way, uh, let's just check that this that this works, right? 
Uh, so there's no soul steel in there at the moment. If I gave you a button. Oh, you broke my sensor. Where'd my sensor even go? Did it like void it or what? That's not ideal. Yeah, he breaks the block above it. Interesting. So it worked, and then we got soul steel. We did get soul steel block. So that's working, but whatever contraption we come up with, the block can't sit here. Because that is in. So the alternative would be we don't sense for the fire. But if I craft more than one at a time, it's going to be a problem because it's going to drop. Right. What I could do is just make sure it only drops every so many seconds with a timer. Mm. The other thing we could sense for is we could assume that the fire is going to be in place correctly, right? So I don't think we can sense for fire, but we can sense for compressed soul stone, sand, powder block, right? So if I made another sensor, follow me on this path, right? Let's instead, let's assume that because the way the A system works, it's always going to insert exactly the blocks it needs to. It's not going to insert before it's completely ready with everything, right? It won't just put an iron block in there. It'll say, I have all five blocks that I need. The, 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 the four of these and the one of this, the compressed soul sand and the iron block. It's going to put them all in at the exact same time. So I am actually going to bring this tick delay down to one, okay? So that he's going to run every tick. Or at least try to. Okay? Then you are going to do that. In fact, but I think I want you to face... You know what? Actually, it's, it's possible I had the... Uh, yeah, I always put this thing backwards. But still, the point is, is that... Because he's going to be broken there, even if I could detect the fire, which maybe I could have. Would you detect any block at that point? Yeah, see, no, he's not. Right, because he needs to be told what block to detect, right? So if I do that. Now redstone, yay. Okay, so that'll be your redstone trigger. Okay. Okay. And then we can use laser I.O. with a redstone card. The laser I.O. with a redstone card. I'm going to need two of them, please. Realistically, I should just make more, but meh, it's fine. And then you're going to insert input on channel white. And then you're going to bind down to here. Okay, so now you're all the same laser IO network and then on the down you're going to output okay now that will continue emitting a redstone signal so what I might want to do is have a item drop delay here 10 seconds maybe that'll work or I need a time all right so let's give this a go and see how it goes. So first thing I want to do is teach the pattern that I'm going to need. So the pattern will be, in order to make soul steel blocks, it's going to be that. But also, we're going to want four of these and a compressed soul sand. So that the pattern says, put in these six blocks and get out that block. All right? So I'm going to de-shrinkify for a sec, so this is just a little better point of view. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this guy should be configured for a 10-second delay. So once the item goes in, it's going to be 10 seconds before it drops it. And then in theory, it should be 10 seconds before it drops the next one. Uh, I might start it at 5, just to see how that goes. Um, and then if it needs to be longer, it can be longer. Okay? So if I put this into this pattern dude here, we should now have soul steel blocks. Next, go. So right now it's making those things over there. See, it's making all the soul powder. Once it gets enough soul powder made, uh, which is clearly taking a moment. Goodness, that's really taking a moment. 
Got to figure out how to make that faster. It's been 15 minutes, and I'm already, I'm already out of patience. Ever since I said, I can be patient. Remember me saying, I can be patient. I really can't. I really can't. We're going to figure something out. Um, yeah, the trick being that, yeah, just the way these work, that's one little nitpick I have, is it would be cool. Now, it should place and drop. Why do you drop so fast? Oh, he drops immediately. Oh. Okay. So, that is a little bit of a problem. So let me break these, actually. Give me my magnet. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys back in here. I'm gonna cancel this. I'm gonna put you all back. And then I'm gonna request another one. Do 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 do. That's fine. Go. And go. Okay, but minus the magnet, that ain't terrible. But then it's going to delay before it can drop another one. I like that, and I will make that a 10-second delay. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, that's interesting. He's maintaining a redstone signal. I don't need a 10-second delay. You can be instant because he's maintaining the redstone signal. So he drops one item... Oh, right, because this mode isn't continuous, it's pulse. <gasps> Ooh, that makes it good. Because the redstone signal will turn off when the blocks are broken. In theory. In theory. If it's fast enough. I'm probably going to want an overclocker. Uh, we want to overclock our redstone input or output or whichever. Um, you. You on this card here, input. I don't overclock on the input. No, the sensors have overclockers. They are instant. Yeah, so I don't need to overclock the redstone cards. That's right. So we should be cool. So this should work in theory. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Also, with all the other crafting that we've got going on, it's unlikely that we would have multiple blocks in here at once. I just want to plan for all eventualities, you know what I mean? So you guys all go away. If I, and you know what I can do if I want to trick the craft into completing, I just drop it and then notice it didn't fall on the ground. It completed the craft because it went in here. Okay, so now soul seal block, go. Okay, so see how that redstone signal is still on and now it's off. So what happened is it stayed on long enough, and now our soul seal block should be there. Nice. That is cool. Now if I want another one. That's cool. I like this. I do. I do. I do like it. Right? If I wanted to be even nicer looking. Could throw a little cable facade on there. Hey, hey, not too shabby. And you're technically no longer needed. Though you may be nice to have every now and then. All right, this looks good, right? Look good. I think it looks good. I personally think it looks good. Now, here's a question for you. Um, first off, I can cable facade you. Are you... What's your thingy doing? So technically, if I bumped you up one or two more... I could add all these filters, and then I wouldn't need this here. I think that's fair, right? Let's put away some stuff for a sec. Okay. So if I said soul powder, glass, and slate. Soul powder, soul glass, soul slate. If I added you, because I don't think it has to go back into the same pattern provider, right? It can go into any one you want. Uh, so that should be fine, right? And I'll bump you up to a 4x4 four four just to make sure that you have plenty of... Maybe I'll just pull this back a little bit, though. Is that the direction to pull back? It is, actually. Yes, that's perfect. That looks good, right? And then we don't need this one? 
and then I can turn you off. And now, if I say I want another soul steel, let's say I want four more soul steels, right? Because we're gonna wanna we're gonna want a healthy amount of these. Look at all the crafting we have to do. So there's your number. It's a lot. Not the end of the world, obviously. We'll get there. It takes it only takes a moment. It's actually not that slow, the whole glowstone into soul powder thing. What's taking you so long? You know what? It's not this that's slow. It's this that's slow. That's surprisingly slow. It's the AE system being slow. If I got speed upgrades in my crafters, that would be cool. Um, how many acceleration cards would I need uh, for the AE2 chandelier? So the AE2 chandelier, if I want to fully overclock all the molecular assemblers, need 385 acceleration cards. So I would need 380 more, which would be a lot of charge service. Though otherwise not, not an insurmountable amount. 380 diamonds. My goodness gracious, that's a lot of diamonds. How am I for diamonds? I mean, we're actually in pretty good shape there. So if I wanted... You know, I could do 100 at a time, right? Hey, look, it's doing its thing. It's it's working. Look at it go. It is actually, if you're looking at it, working. That is really cool. You know what I think I need to mute? Is the mechanism smelter. That thing's a little high-pitched for me. I can hear it from here. I don't know if you guys heard it on the video, but I could hear it, and it was enough. So are you still doing this? Oh, you are still doing this. So this guy is the slowdown. It is not the acceleration cards. It is the speed at which it's dropping. It put all the items in, but it didn't finish the crafting. Yeah, so it is definitely this guy that is the slowdown. My mistake. No, it's 100% him that's slow. Yeah, it's 100% him that's slow. And like I said, I could bump up the stack size that it extracts, but then it wouldn't drop it if it didn't have that many, which kind of stinks. Yeah, a little bit. But hey, I think we just made four soul seal blocks, which I think is pretty cool. I like this automation. This is good. This is good. This is nice. Okay. So now if I wanted to make my spirit cage, my soul cage, it's going to be any soul stone in the middle and a broken spawner gets dropped in, right? So spawner, um, we have a lot of wither skeleton spawners. Man, we have, a lot of, we have a lot of spawners. But I think wither skeleton is probably the one we have most of. Seems weird to break that, but whatever. Okay, so then we would do one, two, three, four with a soul sand. And then our flint and steel. Huh, okay. Kind of noticed that was the thing. Now, before I drop this in there, let's just confirm. That, that, and that, right? Looks good to me. Hooray! We've got a soul cage, nice. Okay. Now, in theory, this should work kind of like the Soul Shards mod in that I can place this Soul Crystal in here. I'm going to be bummed if I lose my Soul Crystal for doing this, but I'm going to do it as an experiment to find out. And if we do lose our Soul Crystal, I'll get a new one off camera. But that should be... Oh my goodness. Oh, and shift click to get it out. Look at you guys with the Wither Skeletons. That's cool. They have this neat little I'm a Soul dude thing going on. Isn't that neat? That's pretty neat, right? I like that. Yeah, let's put away all this junk from my inventory, right? So I don't need any of you anymore. Uh, you can go away. I'll hang on to my soul crystal. You can go in the thing. You can go in there. You and you can go away at the moment. I'm done with you, 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 you. Look at all these things I don't need in my inventory. I always have inventory problems and it's always my own fault. Well, that's nifty. I like the soul cage. So the tier of 
crystal is what determines the speed of this thing, right? And I'm assuming I can just pick this up. Yep, soul cage. Nice. Now this one needs to be turned into... Oh, look, you can see all the stats on it. Look, uh, so ultimate tier, 512 souls. Uh, between 225 and 300 ticks, spawns 9 mobs per cycle, spawns up to 11 blocks away, does not require a nearby player, controllable with redstone, follow spawn conditions. And you can see other other tiers are not as good, obviously, uh, or not as fast. Now, if I want to, I can upgrade this with, I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 soul steel blocks. And then that'll upgrade into a soul revitalizer, which is going to need a lot, right? So we're going to need a healthy amount of this, because vitalize is the mob we're going to look at next. And we need six pylons to go around it. And there's a bunch of different types of pylon. Now, do regular pylons work? I guess so. Eight pylons max. So efficiency is five. Beheading is three pylons max. Looting is three pylons max. So we'll check this out next uh, episode. But we're going to need some, some soul steel blocks for the pylons too. So this vitalized mod is very expensive. Um, a little bit. It's not that expensive. It's mostly just glowstone and iron, which isn't the end of the world, right? So, soul steel blocks. Now that we have it automated, it's not bad. How hard would it be to make 32 of these? We would be missing a lot of glowstone. Okay, so for now, what I'm going to do is just get like maybe eight. Do we have enough glowstone for that? We do not. We do not have enough glowstone for that. I'm going to need to get more glowstone. Is that like a fun way to automate glowstone production? Uh, do 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 do. Low ink sack can be crushing macerated into glowstone. That's interesting. Glow lichen can also be turned into glowstone. Glow berries. Is there a way to get these in bulk? Yeah. That's a thing. We could do that maybe. So we can turn sweet berries into glow berries. And then we can or uh, and then we can crushing macerated them into four glowstone each. It's an option. Um also of note is I know there's a way to dupe glowstone with Batania, so that might be in our future. Oh, witches. Witches drop glowstone. That's a thing we could do too. Uh, see, yeah, this is it. Conjuration Catalyst turns mana. One glowstone turns into two glowstone. So we could automate duping that. We'll see. I'll think about it. We're going to have to do it next episode, though. So for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This was a fun automation. Did you guys like it? I hope so, because I thought it was fun. And uh, we'll come back next time to get more glowstone and then check out the Vitalize mod. Cool? All right. For now, take it easy.